Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And in this video, I just want to show you some script uh, in which I did play a little bit uh, with, let's say, resolving collisions, but I do not support. And I think in very small cases, you will be able to use scripts or add-ins like this. But for me, it was like, okay, uh, let's see how difficult it is to create a script like that. So uh, I have one script that can move some installation up or down for the some amount for which uh, you want. And uh, the second script will optimize a little bit those results. And uh, this up and down script works with pipes. Um, you can create a variation of that script to work with ducts and table trays, but it it will require some time to do. Again, I do not see that this script can be functional in your everyday job, but I think that the script is simple enough to show you something. So that's why I did create it. Uh, and okay, over here I have some examples. So like in the real life, when you want to move uh, and create some some uh, movement of, of the pipe, scale trace or uh, ducts, you would need to split those installations first. So I did uh, place unions over here uh, with split command. And after that, I can run the script. And if we run the script, we have simple user interface. We need to select elements. So we will select those three pipes over here uh, and click finish. We need to say if we want to go up or down, let's say that we want to go up and I'm in the metric system, so those are the 300 millimeters. And now we did move those pipes up. Now, if we want to move, for example, those pipes down, we should run the script again. This time we will select those pipes. Let's go down, I don't know, 400. And now, in a situation like this, uh, of course, it would be better that you did split pipes over here, split pipes over here, select those three pipes, and then choose one direction to go. But if you have some uh, beam over here, and if you need to go down, and over here you have something below, you cannot go down. Maybe you will create something like this. I do not support this. You will increase the pressure. Okay, now uh, the thing which I don't like, you have uh, a lot of elbows, and I think that we can optimize that a little bit. So that is why I did create this script number two. Over here, you will select pipes and fittings, something like this. So we don't need this. We want basically to delete all those elements, but the script needs to find uh, connected elements and it need to connect them. And the end result is a bit optimized version of those uh, of those installations. Uh, again, uh, you can you can uh, go in that second version, for example, or here I did split elements but we can delete this we can connect those pipes and we can choose those pipes uh, and we want to go up or down and we will avoid creating those elbows uh, this is working in the x direction and y direction if you have some constant angle probably this script will not work you will need to adjust the script a little bit again i will run the script number one we will select those elements. Let's go down, for example. Okay, half a meter. And again, this is the result. Uh, again, I do not support uh, using of those uh, add-in scripts, uh, uh, but maybe this is a first step to some intelligent solution that maybe can help us with the resolving of the clashes. Uh, in my opinion, the best thing to do over here would be probably 
to 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 raise those cable trays and then if if you need to skip over some installation then you will just skip those ducts and then you you will continue uh, with this installation on the same height resolving the question like this will uh, increase the pressure uh, for pipes and ducts and again it will not be also good for the cable trays to create a lot of elbows uh, along the installation but okay now i'll show you the script just to see how i did this um, and that's it thank you for watching mm -hmm.